Hello everyone, this is Taylor, and this is a level 150 death build guide. This is for uh, PvE exclusively. So in this video, I'm going to be covering two different builds, and I'm also going to be acknowledging that I'm missing one part of the build, but I'll get into ex I'll get into why it doesn't matter that much for me and why it shouldn't matter for you. So I've been a little hesitant to make this because of missing that piece of gear, but I thought I'd go and cover it. So the two builds I'm going to be showing you is one, which is the Dragoons build, which in my opinion is the better build, and one which is the which is the build from the new gear in Lemuria. I'll let you decide what you want to do, and given what your current setup is, what you want to go for. So let's begin. Starting with Dragoons build, I'll show you my stats here. I have 9,597 health, um, 154 damage, 50 resist, 20 accuracy, 500 crit, 301 block, 28 pierce, some decent incoming, outcoming is irrelevant, 19% um, pimp conversion, it could be higher, 104% pip, and 136 shadow rating, which we don't really know what it means, but from what I understand, isn't that bad. So let's get into the set. Um, the top, the hat, Dragoons, farmed from uh, where you farm Dragoons in the sewers. Uh, the Tennyson robe, the Dragoons boots, the Supreme Wands. These are the wands farmed from pretty much any enemy in the heap and beyond. Um, these are the 148 Pierce wands. They're pretty expensive to get inside Gamma's trading post, but that's where you can buy them from other players with firm powers or packs sometimes. Um, this is not necessarily required if you have a decent alternative, but this is what I'm recommending right now. For the Athame, we're going to go with the Merciless or the Demiurgist. I actually got a uh, Merciless after I crafted the Demiurgist. That's unfortunate. You don't need perfect pip, a perfect pip jewel for this build, so that's why I don't really have one in it. Um, go ahead and get the Dragon the Amulet uh, for the ring. I'm running the Alpha and Omega ring because that's what I have. Um, the better option would be to run the 12% damage ring from Aphrodite. This gives three more pip chance and two more damage and the same sockets. Um, those are the big things. Uh, your health remains pretty similar. Uh, so basically what I'm missing out on this build is two of the damage from here and three pip, not relevant for this build. For the pet, I have a traditional double-triple pet. Mine's 1% off perfect, but with the way the damage curve is, it's not that big of a deal. With the 3% damage, my damage total is more like 151 or 152. It's not that big of... Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's a 151 um, if I had perfect gear, and that's not really big of a much big of a difference between 149 or whatever. Um, for the mount, there's different options. Of course, you can do damage mount, pit mount, whatever suit you maybe there's something missing from your setup too so whatever fits i just run whatever i don't care about stat mounts um for the deck i'm currently using the rasputin's deck with a pip jewel in it um if you want perfect stats quote unquote um depending on what you want out of the deck you want the supreme deck that gives the highest health um with either crit pip conversion block whichever stat you want most it's really up to you. This is what I'm going with because I think I'm fine with it and I like having more copies. Um, I might go over that in another video. But this is my Dragoon setup. In my opinion, this is the better setup. Um, and it is also, if you already have Dragoons, a very easy setup to get because you only really need one new piece of gear. The ring doesn't really matter if you don't have the the best ring, Alpha and Omega works. Um, you technically don't even need the um, new Athame. You, if you have an Uber Athame, that works. There's a lot to go on where this build is very easy to follow um, with a lot of unoptimal pieces. So let's go into the second build. For my second build, I'm going to be going with the Merciless build. This build is interesting because it's going to look better at first, and then I'm going to explain why I don't prefer it. Um, but this build is completely viable and also very good if you want to take the time to go for this stuff so the merciless build pretty much the same same health it's a little lower damage is 157 um 53 resist you get a little bit more resist your accuracy is 25 that doesn't really matter um you're not going to be fizzling with either of these builds the big difference here is that your crit rating is going to be a 
quite a bit lower. This shouldn't matter too much, but you will lose out on a little bit of damage. Shouldn't matter much at all. This shouldn't be the determining factor in what build you're going to go with. Um, block rating, a little bit lower. Again, doesn't really matter. Piercing, about the same. Um, in and out, about the same. Pip conversion, a little lower. Doesn't really matter. This is the problem with this build, though. As you can see, I don't have perfect pip. Now, this isn't actually a problem because with this build, you do get 100% pip. The problem is, is you need 10% pip jewel and the Aphrodite ring. Um, so for death, both builds can get perfect accuracy and perfect pip perfectly blind. And then for, excuse me, for this setup, I have to run the accuracy jewel on my deck as opposed to the pip jewel. This is the exact same deck I have. So the stats are basically the exact same uh, for the deck but you will have to run an accuracy jewel on your deck rather than a pip jewel for this build. Um, the other one, you have to do the inverse, uh, but that, that's pretty straightforward. I, actually, I don't know that you have to do the inverse, um, but this, this build does require an accuracy jewel on your deck. Um, so this is just Merciless or Demi or just whatever, hat, same robe, uh, Merciless boots, same wand, same math name, the merciless amulet, and this is where you'd need that ring upgrade and pets the same. So why do I prefer the other build? Well, this is where um kind of some interesting stuff comes into play. Cause the reason why Dragoons is so good for some schools is still good to this day, because we're technically having lower stats on this build. But um with the exception of the critical and of some small things like five conversion. But the reason I prefer this build is because especially as a death, I see myself as a hybrid support hitter. If I'm playing death, I'm either soloing something or I'm using it as utility. And so the great utility about Dragoons is this sharpen and potent. Uh, this is becoming less and less important. Um, I don't have the pet, but there's a pet from doing the decathlon that gives a sharpened blade and a normal blade, this is extremely useful if you want to move away from Dragoons. Death is a school where moving a away from Dragoons is perfectly viable without changing almost anything. And that's really nice. But the, my criticism of it is the fact that you do need that pet to really get the similar benefits you do with Dragoons. So because I feel Duke Death especially is a very supportive role and being able to blade a lot very important, it's also a solo focused um, school. Um, the other reason I might suggest this setup is because a true solo build uses the Dragoon Robe and then the, um, well, I don't have it, but the Crocotopia hat. You basically run a similar setup everywhere else but you run this robe and hat. This is a PVP-esque build of swap the decks, um, but this is a PVP-esque build. It's gonna be reminiscent of what you're doing in a PVP duel, um, builds where you're going to have um, high health. This, this gets 10,000 health. This gets 62 resist, lower damage. This is, you're gonna be running to run like um, high resist pets, but this running this robe compensates and so for a school like this where you're going to be soloing it might just be wiser to run dragoons set and so that's why i personally recommend going for dragoons on death and on many schools but on death um, because of those the benefits of the blades that being said if you do not want to bother farming dragoons there is no loss farming for the merciless instead and then finding alternative ways to get more blades from that pet or from an enchanted armament or whatnot. So death is a really easy school to build for and you have a lot of options on the school and that makes it really nice. Anyway, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm sorry I haven't posted more of these build videos. I kind of got behind and I was reluctant to do if some things as I said, missing gear pieces, but I really did want to explain this. If you enjoyed, please share this video. Um, it really helps out. Give it a like and subscribe. Anyway, that'll be all. Have a great day.